will be okay. Okay, now can you hear? Okay, cool. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the mode of Frank Stadium for today's game between Garneville Jaguars and the Kenderdale Rams. Again, live from the Mo, Ben Hoyt, Alec Eskin, Ryan Liddy. Uh, this will be first game of two today. Girls JV will be after. Then boys varsity lacrosse at 2 o'clock against Oxford. Rescheduled that game from Southern Lehigh because of COVID protocols. But Garner Valley gets a opponent in Oxford. But our first game here at 11 o'clock in the morning, bright and early, will be against Kenner Dale. A team with a 14 and 4 record the last time they had a full season. Yeah, and um, and obviously this is this is a good team, and I uh, can't wait to see what they, what what um what they can do today. It's going to be a good matchup, and I think and I think this will be a very this will be a a, go a a nice a nice way to start off the start off the season for both teams. As this will be, I, I know it's going to be first game of the season, but I do not know about Kenner Dale. I I assume for both teams it would be their first game or one of their first games. Yeah. Face-off is underway, and ball still up, and one by Kenner Dale. Poke check gets it out. And Kenner Dale will start with their first possession. Kenner, Kenner Dale in black, Garner Valley in their home whites. Poke check ball is free, Garner Valley ball. Number yeah. three on the loose. Yeah, that's Maddie That's Maddie Kalish there, I believe. Um, and she... Shot, Ooh. and scored! Wow. First goal with 24-31 left. Maddie Kalish with the goal. Sneaks right back past the goalkeeper. 1-0 Garnet Valley. Barely 30 seconds. Actually, less than 30 seconds into the game. 29 seconds. Wow, and uh, nice, a really nice start there for Garnet Valley. Uh, obviously, obviously, you would not have expected that, that good of a start. Um, but uh, that all started with the steal from Kalish there, there. About midfield. And she, and she, she did it all herself. Ran right, ran right down, got, got in good position, right in front of the goal. Slingshot it and just sneaked in there. Last time these two teams played, it was an 11-9 game. Garner Valley on top in that one. Face off one by Garner Valley. Makes a move, pass to Kalish. Yeah, and um, and like I, and and obviously it's this is going and obviously the face offs are very important um as uh as as we as we remember that from two years ago um ba how how a face off really sets the tone of a possession for a team shot and a goal wow Garden Valley two nothing twenty four oh two left to go and that Kingsboro with the goal. Of course, I think sister of Olivia Kingsborough. Yeah, Dude. we remember her from from I think from I believe two years ago. Uh, it's obvi obviously she was a really good she was a really good lacrosse player. Um, her, her um um she is currently at Boston College I believe right now. I imagine that that uh, Sophie Kingsborough is going to get the same kind of recruitment. Two nothing, less than a minute in. Garnet Valley on top. Again, both teams are known for their high scoring. Yep, uh, that's cer that's certainly been that's certainly been the case, and uh, Gar I mean obviously for Garnet Valley that's that's definitely been the case as they're up to nothing now, with o only about only about a few minutes in. Wow, not even a minute in. Yeah, the yeah. 25 minute halves, and we're right now at the 24 minute mark. Now it's reached a minute. Yeah. Another fast break for the Jaguars. Shot and scored. Kings Three throw again. Three nothing very early, as Garnet Valley is absolutely trampling the Rams early. Yeah, I mean they're I mean they're so far I mean it's been it's been a, it, they're just they're just killing them um on offense. I mean I mean they I mean it, it's it's like they're playing at half speed or they're or they or or Kennerdale is walking on quicksand. They 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 they're, they're always a step or two slower than Garnet Valley and that's why and that's why you've got you've seen like you seen you seen like you seen um like Kingsborough or, or Kalish just get right in front. Just get right in front of the goal with no one, with no one even near them. Sophie Kingsborough with her second goal of the day, 23:52 remaining. That that's like her second goal in her last 20 seconds. Another fast break for the Jaguars. Clean pass, dropped, and finally Kenner Dale will have a possession. Or, or yep. Garner Valley will take it right back. That works too. And um and obviously that's uh, and obviously a nice job by by Kingsborough getting that back. 
Kendall De Camillo. She's uh, she's obviously one of the multi-sport players for. She's a, she's a very good all-around athlete, three-sport player. Uh, yeah. Great, it was good to see her back at the end of basketball season. Yeah, had a knee injury sidelined her for the most of basketball season. Came back. Shot. Oof. Ooh, just wide. Garden Valley's there first. They'll have the ball. Yeah, smart play there by Maya Langen, uh, reaching out and and keeping the possession because because remember it's not it's not whoever threw it out last it's whoever's closest to the ball. Spreading around right near the 25 yard line, dead center. Makes a move. High pass. Couldn't get to it. It's out. It's Garnet Ball. No, it's gonna be Kendra Dale. Huh. Interesting. I thought I thought it was that I thought it was whoever was closest. Oh. Poked away. Shot and scored. Kalish yeah. with her second. I, I Kalish, I mean that's that's just stingy defense to, to um to, to fantastic offense. Catching catching the goal, the goalie napping there, was able to steal away from her and got an open net. And now it gives Garner Valley already a four nothing lead. Now, by the way this game is going, this could definitely wind up double digits for the Jags. Remember, this is a 10-goal running clock. And I, I, I believe the rule is if the opposing team scores a goal, it goes back to normal rule. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and that's and obviously it's been um, it's been, it's been been a, real, a really good half so far for, uh, for, Garnet, for Garnet Valley. Or for the first, like, five minutes or so, it's... All right, they're going to redo that face-off. Of course, Kenner Dale's from York County, Pennsylvania. It's a long way to get here, especially at 11 o'clock in the morning. You had to get up bright and early. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, obviously the conditions aren't the greatest for them. Uh, obviously, a uh, Saturday morning game, not not a lot of teams are, are mentally prepared for that. And so far, that's what we've seen from Kenner Dale. Face off one, another one from the Jaguars. 22-15, left to go, four nothing. Now they finally, now they finally have possession. Uh, Kendra Dale does. Kendra Dale will try to push it out of their own zone. They haven't done that yet. And foul on Kalish. Kendra Dale ball. Ball's dropped. Going the other way for the Jags. And that's Stankovic there, just running up the, the field. S save with the stick. Caught and it will go the other way. Yeah, and a, and a nice save there. Um, obviously that was much needed for, for Kenner Dale. Do not, do not, well, not won't allow another goal. Long pass. Takes it back out. Yeah, smart play by Kings brother. They're not trying to force anything. Just, just, just. Just kick it out and then and reset and then set, set yourself up for a better play. Now we were talking a little bit yesterday for the baseball game. I think both lacrosse teams are definitely at, you know, a potential for a state championship here, and this is definitely evidence of that. Yeah, I mean, if I had to bet my money on which t on which to be most likely to win a state championship or get to the state finals or whatever, I would choose I would choose both of these lacrosse teams because. Even though Garnet Valley is good at a, at a lot of different sports, we're most known for, and the Central League for that matter, of producing really good lacrosse players. Yeah, a lot of Division One talent uh, coming from Garnet Valley. Everyone's stacking the 20. Ball's Ooh. loose. Oh, it's dropped. Picked back up. Shot. High save with the stick. Yeah, yeah Cannondale is lucky that their goalie is, um, is doing so well for them. Poked away. Shot. Low. Scored. Hat trick already for Kay for uh, for Kingsborough there. Five nothing on the left handed shot. Twenty twenty eight left to go. And that's a hat trick for Kingsborough. Two for Kalish. Three for Kingsborough. Five nothing. Twenty twenty eight to go. Yeah, just uh, Kenner Dale. They they one the one thing they've the one thing that they well, one thing that they lack so far is uh, is possession time. They have no, they have literally they have almost had pretty they have had pretty much no possession of the ball I don't think, and when they have and they when they've had had possession of the ball for those very few seconds, Garner Valley has just stolen it away, and it's, and that's also credit to Garner Valley's defense too. I mean, we, we're talking about how powerful of an offense they are, but let's f focus on their defense for a sec. Well, I think you're going to go right back to their offense as they score again. 
2019 left to go. Six nothing. Holy moly. Stankavich with the goal. I think and that's Stankovic. <laughs> less than five minutes into the game, and they've produced six goals. I, I don't, I don't want to pull your your goalie so early. But it's, it's not really your goalie's fault though, because no, you've right. gotten a lot of, because it's been one on ones with the goalie, and and, and whether it's Kalish Kingsbury or Stankovic, they're 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 it's one on one with the, it's just they're 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 by themselves, and no one's even near them. That's that's been Carradale's problem is they can't. Get anyone gar in Gar Valley's face. Kennerdale going the other way. Sierra McLaughlin has had nothing shot against her today. I mean, literally nothing. There have been no shot attempts on her. I mean, it's been a, been a pretty it's been a pretty uh, nice day for her so far. And now Kennerdale, I think this is the first time they've actually gotten in their in their own zone. That is correct. This is the first possession in their own zone. One of their first possessions since they won the faceoff. Infractions called. It'll be guard the ball. I think that was an offsides call on uh, on Kenner Dale. So Garner gonna be coming the other way. Wasted possession there. You need those possessions when you're down six nothing. Barely five, more than a little more than five minutes into the game now. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, and it's it's so just so far just been shot been painful. Saved by the stick, goes around, and scores. Seven nothing. Nine fourteen left. Uh, Nineteen fourteen left to go in the half. Timeout, Kenner Dale, and I think it's about time. Yeah, they, they need to get their act together quick. Yeah, and that you had to use a timeout there, and like, and obviously there's not a lot of timeouts in, in lacrosse, and but but when you're down seven nothing this early in the game, I think it's be, I think it's best that you take one. All right, so we'll be right back after this short break. Seven nothing live from the mo. Uh, 1914 left to go in the first half. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Barely, no, well, we're, yeah, but we're barely into our first half. 19-13 left to go. It is now 7 nothing, Garnet Valley over Kenner Dale. Remember, this team is not a pushover. They yeah. they are literally, they were 14-4 and four last time we played an actual season. They're a good team out yeah. of York. Yeah, well, obviously, a lot can change in two years. And, nice, and Kingsborough again, just actually, that's Stankovic this time. Nice defensive play by her. Kalish. Pass, shot oh. wide. It will be Garnet Valley ball. Good hustle from Kendall DiCamillo. Yeah, that was a little bit of a tough shot there from, from Stankovic. It kinda we were an angle kinda high. But a good job but a good job by, by both uh, Kalish and Langen uh, reaching their sticks out to keep possession. 
defenders, attackers free, and she scores. 8-0, eight 8-18 eight left to go. And we have a blowout. Yeah. Now be that would be yeah. Stankavich, her that, second goal of the game. That, I, be, I believe that's Caitlin Henning. That's This is her, that was number 22, first goal of the game oh, yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, I was thinking, I was thinking the announcer said Henning, and that made sense because she's number 22. Yeah. Yeah. So Henning with the goal, 8-0, 18-18 left to go. So I, I don't think there's been a point in this game where we have scored no goals in less in, in less than a minute. I mean, we, we scored pretty much every minute of the game. I mean, yeah, I mean, how many, I mean, 30 minute halves? 25. About 25, 25 sorry. So, you, yeah, that math, math line's up there. Yeah, and, um, and, and, and the thing is, not only are, there, are the goals, like, are they scoring at a high rate, so far they've pretty much been, pretty much been uncontested. I mean, like, I mean, like, you can see that Garner Valley clearly has much quicker players because, because, like, let's, let's go to the last possession where, where Kay where Kalish was was where Kalish had three defenders in front of you, in front of her, all, she ran right right by she ran right by all of them and got and got an easy goal and uh, got an easy or set an easy score there. So I think that's just that's also just just like a bunch that's just a like quickness and skill which sometimes you just can't teach. Garner Valley spreading it around the net. High, I, mean, I think it was intended to be a pass, but it actually turned out to be a pretty good shot. Yeah. Yeah, but anywho, uh, let's let's see if Garner Valley can score in this possession, and based on how this game's going, uh, there's a high likelihood that they will. It could be going to running clock too if this keeps going. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's definitely high possibility of that. Ball's loose. Kennerdale picks it up. Two girls on her. Foul. Kennerdale ball. And obviously the girls uh, lacrosse is non-contact, so um, so I'll mo there's gonna, there's obviously gonna, you're gonna hear a lot of those whistles today. With boys, it's a little it's a little more rough. I'll I'll, I'll just I'll put it that way. Sixteen thirty-eight left to go. Eight nothing. And speaking of which, we we are getting our first doubleheader of the year actually. Yeah, we. We'll be playing Oxford, and Monday the boys lacrosse team will be playing the prep, as they like to call it, St. Joe's prep. Yep, and, uh, and obviously they're they're a very good school. Most well, like most private schools, they are they're, they're ob they obviously are are, are top most um, standings for most sports. Of course, they are known mostly for their football, with alumni like Kevin Stefanski and DeAndre Swift. And. Stefanski, I mean, he got coach, coach of the year for the NFL. Obviously, he deserves it. Does a really nice job. Free shot for Kenner Dale. Trapped by two girls. Pass goes awry. And Garden Valley gets there first. It'll be Kenner Dale ball. Yeah, and, um, and obviously... But now, now it seems like they're finally getting getting into some rhythm on offense after not having the ball pretty much for the vet, for the for 98 percent of the of these first 10 minutes. Now, of course, I'm guesstimating there, but but based on how the game's going, like they pretty much have had no possessions. Kenner Dale trying to pass around, look for an open shot. Fortunately, I wish I had that ma I had that mathematical brain and that and that and that clock in my head where I could where I could time out and say like oh oh they've had the ball this ball for this percentage of time. I don't think I could even reach your level of math thinking. I mean I mean I mean we all have our different skill sets. You're better than English. You're better you're better at English than I am, and, that's I, fair. and I would and I would say I'm more I'm a little bit better at math than you. Yeah, that, that's that, fair. Like we all we all have our different <laughs> skill sets, whether it comes to school and street smarts. <laughs> And you and you obviously need both of them if you want if you want to succeed in life. Exactly. Fourteen thirty left to go. Remember, both these teams are going to be on. Well, actually, Garden Valley will be on spring break th this whole week, so they'll have a chance to get rested for their games. Um, it, I, I will. I will. I will enjoy that to 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 the highest extent. Oh, me too. Definitely. Yep, and uh, severely needed. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. I was I was pretty much losing it towards towards the end towards uh, Thursday and Friday. Oh yeah, no, me too. Oof, wow, nice move. Some nice moves inside there. Three girls on her, and I think they're gonna have a free shot here. A little bit of contact. Yeah, yeah and most of the time when you see contact, they expect a whistle. That's just all. That's that's how that's how that's how it pretty much goes in the girls uh, lacrosse. And here we go. Free shot for Kennerdale. Shot wide, not really contested for McLaughlin. Yeah, I mean that was that wasn't even that wasn't even close from. Oh, that was that wasn't really even close from uh, from from uh, ja from Jasmine Riddle. And they're and they're trying to, to get that back, like like what I like to call a backdoor cut in the middle in the middle of uh, like right in front of the goal. They're trying to do that, but so far Garner Valley is just shutting that shutting that route off, and it's not and and they just and they just, they just can't seem to find the shot they want. You're gonna try to spread it around to Amanda Merrick. Merrick will hold, swing it back around. It's a beautiful day here at Garnet Valley. I don't know what the weather is, but it feels it feels like in the 60s or 70s. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, yesterday yesterday was probably the nicest day we've had in I would say like two or three months at least. Or can't remember. And Liddy says 61 degrees. A little cool in this press box because we're we're in nothing but shade. Yeah, yeah, but I I will I will take that. I you will find that I'm mostly a cold weather person. Oh, I know that. Trickles past McLaughlin, she scores. And so 8-1, 12-10 left to go. Off her stick, and she couldn't recover. Yeah. And uh, and fi finally, finally, Counter Dale gets something positive and gets something positive in their direction. Uh, I want to now. That this is now. Let's see. Let's see how Garner Valley can respond here. Obviously, you just you just you just um you just given up a goal. Let's let's see if they can just if they can go right up the field and do the same thing again. A good goal for Kennerdale. Uh, it'll be eight one. And Kennerdale now wins that face off of there again. Yeah. The goal, by the way, was by Allison Balco. Junior for Kennerdale. Make it 8 1. 11.48 left to go in the half. So we're a little more than halfway in. Ball's loose. Picked up by the Jaguars. And here we go the other way. Yeah, nice, 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 nice um, play there by Stankovic, picking up that loose ball after. A little bit of a mishap there from Connor Dale. And if you're Garnet, you'll get that goal right back. Kalen Stankovic again. 9 1, 11 23 left to go. Very shifty with the stick. It'll be another Stankovic goal. 11 23 left to go, 9 1. Yeah, um, and, uh,. And obviously, this obviously just um, that's a little bit deflating if you're Kenner Dale there, after finally getting your first goal and, and looking like you're you might cut the deficit after getting an off of possession again. Uh, Caleb Stanley just runs right back up the field and just like that, the uh, the deficit is now eight again. Kenner Dale gets a face off, but Garnet Valley will pick it up. Inside, no one around her. She scores. There was no one within five feet of her. I mean, it did, I mean, I was kind of surprised there to see that there was literally no that there was no one within like at least three or four yards of her, and uh, and like and that and they and they're and they're using that backdoor cut play to perfection well, so far in this game, she, and uh, and that's and 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 a nice pass there 
to to Sydney Erdman, who that that's her first goal of the day too. And now but now gives Garner Valley a 10 to 1 lead. I'm confused on that play because you left her with no one within 10 feet dead in the middle of the field with a shot at goal. I, I mean there was th there was like four there was like four four defenders around Erdman and yet and yet no one was near her. I mean my guess, my guess is that's just a missed assignment there, but still, and this still right now with the deficit you have, with the deficit you have, there's no, there's almost no room for error. So Kenner, da uh, so Garnet Valley reaches double digits on Kenner Dale, one goal away from running clock. Ten one with ten forty seven left to go, in the half. Yeah. And uh, and obviously this is gonna this is gonna be a little bit of a like, obviously obviously Canada, I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna be, get a little more aggressive here on offense as well as well as defense too. Um, what and once again like the, I mean like this this Canada is not a slouch team. They're they're a really good team. They're from they're from Central PA, but the thing but the thing is though that they aren't that that, that at um that 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 southeastern Pennsylvania lacrosse teams are. Are, are essentially sec are essentially the by far the top dog in at least in terms of lacrosse in in all Pennsylvania. I figured, yeah. Nine fifty left to go. Ten one. So uh, and and so far, and so far that Gar I mean, Garvey defense is just suffocating right now. That the difference between Carradale and Garvey's defense is that Garvey always has at least one or two girls around the around the ball. They're swarming them. Carradale had has had has a lot has a lot of Garvey of offensive players and attackers just run right by them. That's and that's what and that's been this, basically been the story of this game so far. Is the, is the is the team is the team each team's defense or. Lack of defense, per se. Oh. Kenner Dale on offense. Foul and looks like a free shot. And uh, let's let's see if they, let's see if they can actually take advantage. Goal for Kenner Dale, ten two ball game, eight thirty left to go. What's up? <laughs> Alec, J Alec jinxed the game. That's that's what Alec did. No, normally, the, normally the opposite thing happens when I say something like that. 10-2. <laughs> weird. 8.30 left to go. Kenner Dale got another goal in. Makes it even harder. Like, I, I think for the Jaguars, like, that that's, that's what uh, really hurts the Jaguars. Like, you want to get to running clock and run out the half. I mean, I think I think you get the, I still think you get that pretty pretty soon, though. Oh, I, I think so, too. But, you know, a running clock second half would be fantastic if you're the Jaguars. And, um, and, uh, and they obviously we have, we, have, we have just about eight minutes left to go. So, obviously, it's more than attainable. Remember, girls' JV is playing afterwards. It's just that boys' varsity will only be playing afterwards. Shot and scored. No, did, did they call no goal here? They called no goal. The goal will not count. 10-2, 7.45 left to go, as demonstrated by the official on your right. What? That ball is going to be out. Why would... I, I don't know. It seemed like that, that the goal... That, um, once again, I got by defense... Uh, Made the made the goalie uh, for Kenner Dale panic and and now it gives him another possession. Seven eighteen left to go. 
Kindle de Camillo. De Camillo couldn't handle it. And Garden Valley, another thing, definitely been much quicker to those loose balls right there. And, that, and that's another, and that's another, another reason why they're why they're winning by by eight so far. Whistles called, free shot. And uh, this is this is this is Garden Valley's. This, this is Gar this is Garden Valley's um, wheelhouse here. Is those three shots? I mean, the clip at which they score on them is usually pretty high. This is a very good chance if you're Garden Valley to extend it to nine. Shot scored. Eleven two. 621 left to go. Hat trick for Sophie Kingsborough now as well. That's her fourth, I think, if I'm not wrong. I think it her, Yeah, this is her fourth. And that's that jeez, I mean, it's been her it's been her and Kalish pretty much all day and then and then you and then you've got uh, you got Stankovic and you got uh, and you got Langan and you got and you got Henning as well. All right, so welcome back. 6:13 left to go. 11 to 11-2. Uh, Garden Valley they have a nine-point lead with the ball. I th I think the running clock will start in the second half, I believe. But yeah, I, it's second half. Shot, running clock. 12-2. 5:59 left to go. And uh, that's. I believe that's her first goal of the day too. It'll be Maddie Shoemaker. Again, like Alex said, first goal of the day, and now and it is a double-digit lead yeah, in the first half. And, and Coach Purvis says that she said the clock is running in now, and she's pulling some of her starters here, pulling uh, Lauren Bendo and um, and uh, Chloe, Migan uh, Chloe Mangani. Uh, so, so it looks like so it looks like their their days will probably be most likely over. Five fifty nine left to go. Twelve two. It'll the running clock will start in the second half. If it stays the way it is, or if the Jags extend their lead, which they won the face off, so they will have a very good chance of doing. Yeah, and that and um they've won they've won most of those face offs today and um and that and you could argue that that, that is one of the most important aspects of, of lacrosse, or at least a specific moment in time. Dime from DiCamillo and the goal. 13 to 2, 529 left to go. Erdman again. That's a long trip and the clock starts to run. So 5 516 and counting in the first half. And um and those backdoor cuts have been working to perfection for Garner Valley today. And that's the way that Erdman scored a lot is just by, is just by sneaking and right in front of the goal and um and and those crisp passes from a very from a various number of different people whether it's from D Camillo, uh, Stankavage, uh, Henning or Kalish or Kingsborough. It's just it's just been a clinic today on offense for Garner Valley. This has definitely been an offensive show. Thirteen to two. An eleven point lead for Coach Purvis and her team. Garnet Valley ball. And this is a long drive for Kenner Dale, so this is very unfortunate for them. Yeah, obviously, I'm sure they wanted to come in here today, um, uh, and and of course pull the upsets, but that that does not look like it's going to happen today for them. As Garner Valley is up 13 to two now. Garner Valley spraying the ball, Erdman. Yeah, good job by Henning there, not trying to force it in there. Obviously, it's worked well today, but you don't want to force it. Just, and, that, and that's why you don't do that, is so you can get, set up a better shot like that. Get the pass to set up the open shot. That's another goal for Maddie Kalish, her fourth. So, 14-2. to two. Her third of the day, so this is her hat trick. 14-2, to 3.43 to go in the half. 
this is an offensive clinic, as you said. Yeah, it, yeah it just that's the only way you can really describe it. It's just, uh, obviously just like Garner Valley. They're just they're just they're just real, they're, they're not even they're not slowing up. It's what, it's what it also is what you like to see here too. They're not. It's not. They're not. They're not just. They're not just keeping their foot on the gas pedal. They're pressing it harder, and that's the re and that's the reason why they've why they've already extended their lead to 12 points. Or 12. Thir 307 left to go. Kenner Dale with the possession in their uh, uh, in Garnet Valley's end. Only two goals on the day. One of them being from Allison Balico. Oof. Nice, ooh. It's a little slash there, so yeah. still Kinderdale ball. Yeah, and um, and, ob and obviously that was a, that obviously Barry. I like the I like the aggressiveness there on de aggressiveness there on defense, but unfortunately the penalty and um and now Garvey has the ball back, so evidently it will not matter. The attackers fell asleep there. They could have picked the ball up. Long pass and high. It was a little too forced there. 2.18 left to go in the half. Yep, and uh, and, uh, and obviously they're going to have to, um, obviously, obviously Canada's going to have to pick it up here once again. Shot. Oh, I'm wide. The Garnet ball. That's, not, uh, that was a, uh, Obviously, that's a uh, obviously a wide open goal there. Luck Carradale was lucky that Shoemaker didn't take didn't take advantage of that like they like Arvai's pretty much have been have been all day. Arvai trying to force it into an inside. Another backdoor cut. Left handed shot and scored. And just and uh, Maya Ra Maya Rauchi just takes it in herself. Mia Rauchi. Mia Rauchi, fifteen to two. One minute, one minute to go in this half. It is a thirteen goal lead, so odds are we will be having the running clock in the second half. And uh, yeah, and obviously we got under we have under a minute left, and the clock is running. It's already running. So yeah. uh, so with that in mind, I would think that it will continue to stay running in the second half. And now Garner Valley gets gets once again gets wins another face off and gets another possession. Thirty eight seconds and counting. Trying to force her out. Shots high. Garner Valley ball, 28 seconds to set up a shot. Yeah, and uh, at this point, I would just take your time. No reason, no reason to 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 um force a quick goal here. Um, just considering how much you're up by and uh, and what and what the situation is. 10 seconds to go. Backdoor cut. Oof. Nice, nice catch though after the deflection by from nice catch by everyone after the deflection there. Three seconds. Two, one, half. Yeah, and that's this. I mean, like, yeah, you're up by 13. You might as well just hang on to possession of the ball for the rest of the half. So after the first half, 15 to two. We'll be right back after halftime.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, we've made a little bit of a substitution, <laughs> a, a, in a sense. Alec Eskin will be doing camera this second half. We have Ryan Liddy on the mic. Hello, everyone. Of course, you've seen him for some of the basketball games as Garden Valley wins another faceoff. Wasting no time to make an opportunity for themselves. Yeah, Garnet Valley, they, they, they don't waste time in anything, really. Football, basketball, whatever. And that really helps them in, in their sports. Now, just to give a background on Ryan, he's a manager for the football team under the guy next to me, Jake, uh, Jake, uh, Jake Matson. He is also up. Oh, Garnet Valley scores, so of course <laughs> they <laughs> get interrupted by that statement. But again, it will be 16-2. Yeah, so that also means the uh, wrestling and baseball teams. So I, I know a lot about sports, and I can help out. <laughs> so Garner Valley with another goal makes it 16-2. to two. But again, so at, Ryan is under Jake Matson for the football managing uh, thing. Now, now, uh, for the uh, football managers, um, he is also part of our broadcasting club. Uh, he's also the baseball manager uh, for the baseball team. Yes, I'm under uh, three seniors are my bosses for, for managing. Yeah. yeah, Jake, Connor Delaney, and uh, and Lauren Block, Lauren Box Thompson for wrestling. Nice break, good move. Free shot, twenty-three, thirty-two, and running. Garnet Valley up fourteen. They don't really need to rush anything. They, they can put all their backups in right now and just and they and they'll still probably win. Free shot. Shot and scored. Nice shot. Right through the goalkeeper. 17-2. to 23 minutes left to go. Another goal for Stankavich. It'll be a hat trick. And we've got plenty of hat tricks for the cross team today. Hopefully we'll have that for the boys team too. Now Garner Valley will be pulling Sierra McLaughlin for their backup goalkeeper. As they feel comfortable enough with a 15-point lead, as they should, to put in the backup goalkeeper. This is like hockey. And this is lacrosse is basically hockey with goalies. Your goalie's doing bad, you pull them. Your team's doing good, you pull the goalie anyway. Except there's no ending that's in lacrosse. But the face off was called. They're then we do it. Yeah, no, they yeah they had to redo it. They, they, there was a point where they scored like four goals in the span of less than a minute, six goals in a minute. Yes, that was insane. They had they had eight in the first in less than the first seven minutes. Also, so Garner Valley picks it up, makes a move. I mean, both of these teams have not played a game in two years. They may have had a scrimmage. Uh, yeah, they may as have of last year, but before everything shut down, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, they did some scrimmages, but obviously one team was way more ready than the other. Yes, that's definitely true. And Garnet Valley, they've always been known for, especially women's lacrosse, like back in the glory days, as they called them, winning four to five state championships from 2001 to 2015, and the national rank in 2014, actually. It's a big deal for us, so... Yeah, Max Preps and people who run that, ranking Garnet Valley. And it looks like we'll have one of those teams again in this team. Yes, it is looking like that right now. Inside, wide open, ball went through her. Kinderdale picks it up. 20.52 left to go, five minutes into the game, into the half. Ball's net. loose, up open net. The goalie has to stand behind her. Gets to the net. I feel like two big contenders for the, not just the, the Leaf Championship, but also the State Championship are Heron and obviously Garnet Valley. Heron's been, they flew onto the radar this year and a few years ago. 
on the crossbar. Back to the Jaguars. There's no Kennerdale uh, player was there to pick it up. Yes, Kennerdale has to get better at... Oh, we got fast break for Garnet Valley. So down, yes, Kennerdale has to get better at defending. They're down 17-2 right now. They have to... They have to be better and defend better if, if they want to stay in this game. Obviously, they're not in this game right now, but if they want to get back in this game. I've seen, I've seen bigger comebacks happen. FYI, Super Bowl, Super Bowl 51. <laughs> shot, free shot, saved by the keeper. The Garnet Ball. Nineteen oh nine left to go in the second half. A little bit of contact there. Not called. You see Kennedy's morale is really low right now. You saw that ball get loose and no one went for it except for the except for Garnet Valley. Contact on the stick, Kenner Dale ball. Kenner's almost almost in like give up mood, like like we're not gonna win this thing and even, even though it's a running clock, never say never, especially in the, especially in, in the cross. We've got 18.36 left to go in the game. They they practically have to score a goal a minute. Yes, they would. But, I mean, we saw Garnet Valley score eight goals in seven minutes, so that can happen. And four goals in less than a minute. That's true, but they have to get the ball away from Garnet Valley, and they've had 90% of the possession. Correct. Garnet Valley has... Been, been really good at controlling possession. If they can do that for the rest of this game, they, they've, they've won the past 20 points. Garner Valley spreading it around. We do have the JV team sitting on the sideline watching this game today. They will play after this game. And yeah. that the game will not be broadcasted. Yeah, by this us. will not be streamed. We'll be taking a little bit of a break. Shot and scored. See, I mean, a recurring theme. I think Ben's not, not so telling me a broken record saying shot and score every, every five seconds, but it works. Just put it on recording to say, and then put it up to the mic. So 18 to 2 left to go 1707. So now you have to score a goal a minute. Yes, now you definitely have to score a goal a minute to even have a fighting chance. Garden Valley with an opportunity saved by the goalkeeper, picked up. Yep. So 18 to 2, 16 09 left to go. Play is stopped. The Kenner Dale ball. I know just wasting time right now. I know Garnet Valley's defense is good, but you have to get the ball out of your zone. She's got someone wide open by the 40. She doesn't notice her. Not anymore. As defenders go over, but. Looking at the clock 15 30, 18 to 2. Kennerdale goalie having trouble finding who to pass to. She's just gotta throw it up and hope and hope that someone that someone gets it. She's just wasting just, time right now. 
You'd have more more of a chance. Of, there you go. Just throw it up, and that's what you did, and look what happened. Ball's loose. Garn Valley ball. Garden Valley JV getting warming, uh, getting warmed up. Yes, they are starting to run their warm-up laps. I mean, their game will probably start in about 10, 15 minutes. So, that's how they need to start warming up now. Exactly. Really looking for a shot. They have a wide open opportunity. Ball was stripped and straight into the stick of the goalkeeper. Now fast break for Kendrick Dale. The Rams have 14.06 against 16 goals. Yes, that will be scoring basically a goal every 45 to 50 seconds to get that. Maybe even in less time. So do we have any idea when the next uh, girls broadcast is, Ben? Hmm? When, do we have any idea when the next girls lacrosse broadcast is? I don't at the moment, but I know our next lacrosse broadcast period will be against St. Joe's Prep on no, it, Monday. Be against Oxford. Well, I, no, I'm saying I'm saying besides today, Libby. Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> he, he, uh, of course we play Oxford today, but Monday we'll be playing St. Joe's Prep also known as the prep. I, I don't know why that is, but you know, we'll roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> um That game will be at seven thirty PM will be the face off. Shot and goal. I thought that was saved. Is it crossed the line, maybe Yeah, it, it literally went right between her legs. Yeah. Twelve forty five left to go. Not working. It's Garden Valley looking like a state caliber team already. Within yes. the only the last 45 minutes I've seen them. Yeah, Scarlet Valley, they could be, I mean, I, unless it's neutral set, they could be hosting a lot of state tournament games. I don't think it's going to be neutral. I, not until, you know, states, I don't think. They'll, they'll be playing that at Westchester East. Maybe state semifinals will be, maybe state semifinals and state championship game will be at Westchester East, but I don't know if. I, or at least I know state. that for boys. I don't know for girls. I thought that playing with White Marsh. There could that? be two. Yeah. For a while, it used to be a Hershey, but I don't know why they discontinued that. I thought that was a good idea. I think Hershey Bar Stadium it was no one necessarily focus on football there. Well, I know, but you know the lacrosse. You know, it's like Pennsylvania State Championship land. You get everything there, and like, I, I would like lacrosse to be there too. But I don't think a lot of teams from you know, Western side, uh, really play it. Right. So, I mean, that's even better. Maybe, maybe you have the state championship at the link in the, in the financial field. There's going to be no one else there in, in the spring. And, well, and, you and, have the NCAAs there a lot. Oh, you're right. You're right. That's a different stadium every year. So. Well, yeah, not every year, but, yeah, most years. Yeah. 11 minutes left to go, 19-2. You are correct. They are there. So, maybe you find a weekend to have the state semifinals and state championship at the link, you can pack 80,000 people in, in that stand, in that stadium, in, an, in a normal circumstance. I've done this year, but. I, I still think Hershey's the way to go. You know, it's Chocolate Land, USA. Yeah. Hershey is, and, and it's near the middle of the state, so right. you've got, it's basically an equal drive for everyone. I, I, th I just think it's tradition. Yeah, it is. Like, uh, Georgia, they had their state championship, their football state championship at uh, 
at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Yeah, right, because it's the capital, and, right. you know, it's the biggest stadium. I just think, you know, Hershey for PA is just, you know, it, it's tradition. Right, it is. I mean, I, I, w I went to the St. Joe's Prep, you know, I, I, not Pine Richland, but uh, Central Dolphin State Championship game. It, it's so cool there, you know, yes. just uh, having all the state championships at once. Of course, we broadcast at a state championship. You were, I don't know, seventh grade. <laughs> I think I was 2019. I was a, I was a youngster. I was seventh grade. Yeah, I, I obviously we had Jack Ainsley back then. Free shot for uh, that, that was just blocked. There was no chance of that going in. Um, yeah, no, we uh, we were in Hershey, Pennsylvania for that. Uh, court row, which was kind of cool. Yeah, I I just think it's a great experience the state championships and you know to host it at a you know high school stadium. Believe me, it's fine, but it, it could be a lot better. Yes, and actually, wrestling last year, not not this past year, 2021, 2020, they ended up going to states as a team in the Team Duels uh, State Tournament. That was a big content. They pulled off the upsetting uh, over Council Rock North, and then yeah, they're about to the Council Rock South in the state championship, so in the tournament, not the actual state championship match. Ball's loose, picked up, 8.47 left to go. You know, a lot of lacrosse alumni here are, like, really good. Yes. Like, we see Matt Moore, who I think is only the third leading scorer in history. Yes, uh, he is so. balling out at Virginia, one of the top players in college. Yes, and Jake Morin, he's uh, at yeah, Penn State right yeah, now. Yeah, he was, a, I think, a 4-5 star yeah. recruit, and he's also balling out at Penn State. Yeah, he scored his first goal, like, I think it was last week, a week before, he scored his first collegiate goal, which is a big deal. Yeah, it is. And you're going to – there have been some good alumni there. I think one was like player of the year, uh, James Madison. Yes, I think so. It's a lot of stuff from Delco about lacrosse. This is lacrosse land USA, yeah, in my so, opinion. Especially the Central League. And Delco and – but the Central League is like – a hot box for, for the cross. Yeah. I mean, Haverford School is one of the best in the country. Yes, they are. Not not, not Haverford, you know, Delco, uh, Haverford Delco. They're good. Right. They are but, good. But, I mean, the private school is just ridiculous. Right. And this will also play at the Haverford School in their last game of the season. Yeah. In fact, uh, Garnet Valley Boys Lacrosse will also be playing at the Haverford School. Yes. The tradition for Kip Taviano who tragically died in a car accident. They'll be playing the Haverford School every year to commemorate his life and his legacy. Yes. That was a tough loss for everyone. Kendall D. Camillo, 7.08 left to go. Shot saved by the keeper. 19-2. We'll see if this goes to 20. Well, I mean, they, at this rate, they can have a 20-point lead at the end, not just 20 points. They ended up 22 to 2 at least. Mm -hmm. 19 to 2, 6.46 left to go. JB will be on next. This game will not be broadcasted. We'll be setting up for the boys lacrosse game. Uh, but I think someone will be filming for JV. Yes, I think I think so too. I think that is it Jake Madsen maybe filming. <laughs> I, I'm not. Our guy Jake Madsen maybe doing that. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I, I can't confirm that, though. I'll have to ask him when to get off. But Yeah. So don't hold me, hold me to that, everyone. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, don't that hold us to filmed. that. I, we're, we're just thinking of, uh, we're thinking that's the case. Yes. But Kenner Dale will go to 0-1 on the air. Uh, not a position they usually find themselves in, as they will be traveling home a long way to York. Garner Valley will start their season off 1-0. A position they definitely know themselves to be in. Yes, yes, they they've been really good ever since really the the beginning of of, when, of girls across here at Garnet Valley. They just it's unbelievable the growth we, that we've seen. Not just me, but everyone at Garnet Valley. Balls loose. Uh, just looking back on it, 2018, uh, Garnet Valley almost had a 
the boys across almost had a all centrally state championship game. Oh uh, yeah. As they as they lost to uh, La Salle in, in the state semifinal and yeah. stopped playing Conestoga in the state championship but gave I, up seven goals which is unfortunate. Yes. Hopefully they change that this year. Yes, yes, hopefully they can change it. Fouls called. 456 left to go. I mean, Ma Max Busenkel is amazing. You know, he's he's going to Notre Dame. A lot of a lot of D1 athletes here at Garner Valley. Correct. Not just for look, not just good at lacrosse. He's also he's, he's a great football quarterback too. Even even if he doesn't want to play it, I mean, he he has to know his strengths in football and lacrosse. Four twenty-eight. Left to go in the game. Looks like a shot on goal. They're just going to take it back out. Run some clock. Well, not that it matters anyway. You could have taken the shot, but neither right. the clock since a run a clock. But Correct. still, just a reset, pass the ball around. As we now hit the four-minute mark. Yes, we actually, uh, this year we watched Sam Morin and Max Busenkill in the uh, Boys of Cross Under Armour All-American game. That was a big achievement for both of them, and I congratulate them both on that. Yeah, they 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 are really good lacrosse players. Yes. And knowing them both personally, I mean, they are hard workers. Yes. They, they are very dedicated to their craft, both football and um. Uh, lacrosse. Of course, we had Sam Moore in broadcasting this year. Yes. That that was something. Yeah. I mean, he was good. He was good. Yes, and all. I mean, well, what's the deal with all these Division One recruits uh, with broadcasting? We got Reed playing baseball. Yeah. That's now broadcasting. Sean Gallagher going to Navy for lacrosse. We had Sam Morin also <laughs> going. Yeah. To Towson for lacrosse. I I mean, we got D one athletes through the roof here at Garden Valley broadcasting. Yeah. And uh, what did it say? I, I just had a mind blank. I apologize, but smooth, lady, smooth. <laughs> two fifty left to go. Nineteen to two. It was not related to the game, so it was related to some something about uh, Sam Warren, but. Kennedy Camillo, inside balls loose. They're not even giving an effort to picking it up. They're just letting him pass around. Yeah. And of course Sam Warren, we had uh we had him have a really bad injury in the upper derby football game that ended his senior season. So that that was a that was a tough one for for everyone on the football team, not just him. They actually compared it to a car accident and, and, and said it was the fourth one they'd seen ever in in that type of injury. Mm-hmm. So can you imagine the force that that had to take to to have that injury in his shoulder? Yeah. That they compared it to a car accident. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Yes, it really is. I mean, football's a dangerous game. Yes. One thirty-eight left to go. Scarlet Valley will run out the clock, move their season to one and zero. Oh. Kennerdale will be on the bus shortly, heading to York with yes. an 0-1 record. That's going to be a very tough ride home for them. And it's anything like football, they're going to be quiet, too. Oh, very quiet. Yes. Now, being on those bus rides, they, those aren't fun. Yes. Shot saved by the keeper. We have now hit one minute, one minute remaining to go in the game. And we're under a minute. Under a minute left. So, Jordan Valley will take their time, let this clock run out, and they get to enjoy their weekend, enjoy their spring break. Yeah, so of course, boys will have a have three games over spring break. One today, one Monday night, and then another Thursday night on April 1st. 30 seconds left to go. I'd like to thank our viewers and remind you that Garden Valley versus Oxford is at two o'clock today. So make sure to tune in the same channel 
we'll all be here. I think we're gonna maybe get a lunch run or get yeah. some equipment. <laughs> yeah. We but we'll we'll, we'll be that. here. <laughs> Eleven seconds, ten, and this game is over. Garden Valley moves to one and zero. Kennerdale to zero and one. The Rams will take their first loss season. Jaguars will win their first. 19-2, 17 goal win for Garnet Valley. Liddy, your thoughts? Yes, a, a very good offensive game by Garnet Valley. They showed a lot of promise for the, for the season ahead, and I think I, I think that they made a state run this year just by this game. Definitely. JV is uh, going to be played in between our broadcasts, but we will see you in a couple hours. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys.